Greek and Hindu mythology are two of the oldest mythologies known to mankind. Although both of these mythologies have no established connection with each other, yet they share some striking similarities. A very striking similarity between both these mythologies is that you have a god for everything. These mythologies have a god of wealth, wisdom, knowledge, and many more. Both the mythologies portray the message that good triumphs evil. There is a constant struggle between the two. In Hindu mythology, we have Asuras and Devas. The Devas are the good Hindu gods that we dearly worship and Asuras are the chief creature that torment the Devas. Similarly, the god of Mount Olympus represents good and the Titans represents evil. Now, the interesting thing is that both good and evil are fathered by the same man. In Hindu mythology, the father of both Devas and Asuras was Kashyapa and in Greek mythology, both God and Titans are fathered by Cronus. In this video, I am going to talk some interesting things that are common in both these mythologies. Demi-gods or avatars Hindu mythology often speaks of avatar or reincarnation. Krishna, Ram are some of the most commonly known reincarnation that are worshipped as dearly as the real gods they have descended from. Parallel to this, the Greek mythology has the concept of demigod. They were the offspring of God. They are considered as the heroes of human rest and are worshipped by all. Perseus, Achilles, and Hercules are the most popular among them. Jews and Indra The Rig Veda proclaims Indra as Hindu god of thunder who rides a grand chariot and lives on Mount Meru in Swarga. He uses the thunderbolt as his weapon to create rain. Likewise, Jews is the Greek god of thunder. The dwelling place of Jews is Mount Olympus, home of other Greek gods as well. Jews has a thunderbolt as his weapon and Indra has Vajra as his weapon, which has the same power of thunderbolt. They are both associated with rain, thunder and lightning and the thunderbolts being their main weapon. Both these deities had control over weather. They both shows emotion of love, jealousy and anger. Indra has Agni and Pusan as brothers. Zeus has Hades and Poseidon as his brothers. They both have the power of assuming different shapes. Both of them have many wives. Zeus and Indra had many affairs with mortal women as well as goddess. Zeus seduced the faithful Achaemen in the guise of her royal husband Amphitryon. Indra seduces Ahalya by assuming the physical form of her husband, the ascetic Brahman Gautama. Both of them are in constant worry of losing their position to others. Achilles and Karna Karna and Achilles also share a lot of similarities. The most striking similarity is their armor. Both of them had a kind of impenetrable armor which almost made them invincible. Both of them were one of the most skilled warriors in their respective epics. Not only that, just like Achilles, Karna too was a demigod. And before the war, both of them were requested by their respective martyrs not to participate in the war. If we read epic carefully, then we can understand that it was the death of these two warriors that eventually led to the end of both the wars. Both characters are initially forced to sit out of battle and only enters the battle after major character was killed. Both characters are rulers of smaller kingdoms. Both characters are killed by arrows from behind. Both characters are on the wrong side of the wall. 
the Trojan War and Ramayana. Another very interesting similarity is between Ramayana and the Trojan War. Both of these great wars were fought for a woman. The Ramayana took place after Ravana kidnapped Sita, while the Trojan War took place after Helen ran away with Paris. The Greeks have to cross the sea to lay siege to Troy, and so does Ram to lay siege to Lanka. The elder sons of the enemies are shown powerful in both epics. Hector, the elder son of King Priam in Iliad, and Indrajit, the elder son of Ravan in Ramayana. The course of the war changes after the death in both the epics. The Trojan War and Mahabharata Pandavs were sent to forest for 14 years. The Battle of Troy was fought for 14 years. When the war starts out, Arjun was reluctant to fight. Similarly, when the Trojan War starts, Achilles does not want to fight. Arjuna laments over the dead body of his son Abhimanyu and pleads to kill Jayadrat the following day. Achilles laments on the dead body of his brother Patroclus and pleads to kill Hector the following day. Hathotkacha attacked the Kaurava army during night and caused massive destruction. Hector attacks the Greek army during the night and caused massive destruction. Dhritarashtra had 100 sons and the chosen king had a total of 68 sons, 18 daughters on record which equals to 86. Three Main Gods The presence of a kind of a holy trinity can be found in both of these mythologies. In Hindu mythology, in spite of all the other gods, Brahma, Vishnu and Mahishwara are considered to the three most important gods. Same way, in Greek mythology, we have Zeus, Hades and Poseidon who respectively rule the heavens, the underworld and the seas. They are considered as the three most important gods according to Greek mythology. Hades and Yama Hades and Yama are two very similar characters. Both of them are the lords of the underground. But interestingly, both of them are not evil. They just assign a person a place in hell or heaven based on their virtues and vices. Hades, also called as Pluto, especially by the Romans, which is also the name of the planet. That planet Pluto is called Yama in Hindu mythology. Both Hades and Yamaraj are said to bring judgment to the departed soul and accordingly send them to their respective afterlife. Good souls are sent to Elysium and Swarga in Greek and Hindu mythology respectively. One of the bad ones are sent to Tartarus and Narka respectively. Saptarishis and the Seven Sisters Just like Hindu have the concept of Saptarishi, Greek have the concept of Seven Sisters. According to Hindu epics, the Saptarishis are the seven bright stars that can control even the sun. In Greek mythology, these seven sisters are known as Pleiades. Just like the Saptarishis, they are also a cluster of stars. Icarus and Daedalus with Jatayu and Sampati. Jatayu and Sampati are the brothers in the shape of birds. One day, the two demigods decided to fly to the sun god. Jatayu reaches close to the sun and his wings were about to destroy. Sampati spread his wings to protect his brother and in that way, but he loses his wings and spends the rest of his life without wings. Likewise, in Greek mythology, Icarus is the son of the master craftsman Daedalus, the creator of Labyrinth. Icarus, along with his father, was locked up in a tower. In order to escape from the tower, 
Daedalus created wings using feathers and wax. Daedalus warns his son to not to go close to the sun god Apollo, but the Icarus went so close to the sun, which results his wings fell off and he died. This tale is quite parallel to Jatayu and Sampati, who go close to the sun and end up losing the wings. Vishwakarma and Hephaestus. It is said that Indra's weapon is made by Vishwakarma in modern Hindu religion. Similarly, in Greek context, the weapon of Zeus is made by Hephaestus. Both Vishwakarma and Hephaestus are regarded as the construction god in their respective religion. Emes and Narada. Emes is known to travel distant places in quick times and show up almost anywhere. He often plays trick on others either for his own entertainment or as a part of a bigger plan to help humanity. Amos is also said to have invented astronomy and music amongst other skills. Also, there is a famous story according to which Amos invented a string instrument called lyre to quench Apollo's anger. When we took a look at Narada from Hindu mythology, he is not much different from Emes. In Hindu mythology, Narada is considered as the first postman journalist messenger. He could never contain secrets. Thus is known to spread news from one place to another. Like Emes, he also pleased trick on others, triggering a bigger event, making his role significant in a great many great stories. Also, he is known to travel real fast and show up almost anywhere in the manner of similar to Amos. Narada was proficient in music and invented musical instrument called Bina. He was also a singer. Both of them are often known to trick and mislead people with their words. Watchdog of the Underworld or Hell Both the religion have mention of the hell and there is a special dog that watches the gate of hell. In Hindu context, the name of the dog is Sarvara that is the dog of Yama, god of death. In Greek context, the name is Kerberos. Goddess Lakshmi and Hera Hindu have a goddess of wealth and prosperity and she is Lakshmi. Hera is the Greek goddess of wealth and prosperity. Goddess Saraswati and Athena. The Hindu have a dedicated goddess of learning and that is Ma Saraswati. She is the one who is considered as blessing of all cultural and artistic wealth. Similarly, the Greeks have a goddess of wisdom who is Athena. She is seen as the one presiding over all our forms. Both of them were born from the head of two prime gods of their respective religion. Goddess Saraswati sprang out from the mouth of Lord Brahma, dressed in white, carrying a book and Veena in her hands. Athena is born from Zeus for her. Varuna is the name of Hindu god of Osun. Poseidon is the name of Greek god of Osun, and in both cultures they protect sea life. Krishna and Hercules Some scholars even translate Hercules as Hari Kula Is, meaning the clan of Hari, thus associating it to the clan of Krishna. For instance, the image of Lord Krishna fighting the serpent Kaliya can be found reflected in the image of Heracles fighting the Hydra, a serpent with many heads. Krishna and Zeus In Hindu mythology, King Kangsa of Mathura is foretold that the eighth son of his sister Devaki will kill him. Hearing which, King Kamsa not only imprisons both Devaki and her husband, Vasudeva, he 
also goes about systematically killing all new babies born to his sister till the eighth Bhagwan Krishna is born. Devaki and Vasudeva help the baby Krishna to safety. A grown-up Krishna comes back to kill his uncle Kangsa. In similar fashion, Kronos becomes aware of the prophecy that he will be overthrown by one of his children. In order to prevent this pain, he begins to swallow each of his children as soon as they were born. When the sixth child, Jewish, is born, Rhea, Cronus' wife, devised a plan to save the baby with the help of Cronus' mother, Gaia. Rhea secretly gives birth to Jews and arranges for him to be brought up in a jar. Later, a grown-up Jews comes back to defeat Cronus. The god of war, Kartik and Ares. Hindu's god of war is Kartik, Shiva's son, who rides a peacock and holds a weapon, a spear in his hand. The Greek gods of war is Ares and he carries the same weapon, a spear. Three Goddesses There are three main Hindu goddesses, Parvati, Lakshmi and Saraswati. The Greek goddess also number three, Hera, Estia, and Demeter. Apollo and Surya Apollo and Surya are both the god of sun and light. Both Apollo and Surya are often associated with flying golden chariot with horses. Achilles and Visma both of them were heroes in the biggest war of their respective mythologies. Achilles in Trojan War and Visma in Mahavara. Both of their mothers were river goddesses, while fathers were kings. River goddesses Thetis and King Peleus of Achilles and river goddess Ganga and King Santanu of Visma. Love God, Eros, and Kamadeva. In Hindu mythology, the god of love is also known as Kamadeva. Similarly, in Greek mythology, the position of love god was taken by Eros, the personable male figure with wings. Both of them are known to intoxicate people with the essence of love by shooting an arrow made out of flowers with a sugarcane bowl. Rhea and Aditi Goddess Rhea is the mother of prominent gods in Greek mythology such as Jewish and Poseidon. She is the goddess of motherhood and a symbol of female fertility. The Hindu goddess Aditi is known to have given birth to several of the prominent Hindu gods including the mighty Indra and Varuna. One could find a strange similarity in the literal meaning of both Rhea and Aditi. The literal meaning of Aditi is expansive or boundless, while Rhea means uninterrupted flow. While Rhea was married to Cronus, the god of time, Aditi was married to the mighty Kashyapa. Thank you.